so mine are gf, and I have known each other our entire lives. Our families have been friends for a long time now, so we were always close. My gf and I had feelings for each other for a while, but never acted on it until a few months ago. We secretly dated until two weeks ago, when we went to prom together. We thought everyone would think it was the coolest thing ever, but they had the opposite reaction. They told us we weren't allowed to date, and that was that. The only explanation we got is that it's weird, because we are basically family. Which doesn't make sense, because we are not related. We are just so confused about why they are acting like this. We are not going to stop, because we are going away to college in a couple months, but it's frustrating that they are ruining this for us. Anyone have an idea why they are doing this, or how we can get them to change their minds? Most likely something is amiss here. You need to dig into why these families don't want y'all to be together. Has to be something missing right. They're just being super dismissive about it and not giving us a clear answer as to why. 1. They might consider her family given their long friendship, but you're not actually related so that's a non-starter. 2. They might be worried about what happens to their friendship with each other if you two were to break up. That second one is a good answer too. Is this gonna end up like that episode of House, where this couple ran away because a dude's dad beat him up for dating the girl, and they thought it was because he was a racist, but it turned out the dad had an affair with the neighbor woman and the resulting child is the dude's wife slash half-sister? I have questions, and they probably won't be answered. Eater, life also isn't a TV show, and it's still very plausible and believable that they think it's weird purely for the reason that you two grew up together and to them, it's like you are siblings. Which if that's the case, and hopefully it is, they can suck it up and deal. I'm hoping that's the case. At least that would just be annoying, rather than life changing. You need to demand to know why. We can't tell you. Just trust us, none of your business will not be acceptable answers. And if the reason is anything other than you guys being related, then it's probably not a good reason. Just be straightforward with your parents. I need a direct full specific answer. No secrets, and nothing vague. Explain it simply and specifically. Or we are simply going to continue to date. There are two ways this can go. One is that the family is afraid that when you guys split up the families won't be able to do stuff together. It's a valid worry, as if you get really close and something happens that breaks one or both of your hearts it's going to cause drama, whether it's intentional or not. If this is the case then just have a talk with your family to ease your worries and promise not to put them in between any arguments you both may have. Two and this is the wild one, you guys are related. I don't think you guys would be siblings as that's hard to hide, but somewhere along the way maybe grandparents hook up. You guys could very well be first or second cousins. Definition should get a DNA test just in case. Who knows it could also just be good finding out your heritage. Because we are basically family. Because we are not related. Hello who? DNA testing now. You're close because you're siblings. One of you was adopted, and they didn't wanna spill the beans, because they wanted you both to grow up not knowing. I don't think so. We don't think we look related, but that would be one hell of a twist. I do not want to have to live with the fact that I had sex with my sister Olmeo. Yeah I agree with the DNA testing. Either one of you could be the product of a wild swingers weekend. Does one of you have a sister that is 13 to 17 years older? Nope. Her sister is 3 years older and my sister is 5 years younger. I think that's your sister, bro. Please no. When I started dating my family friend of 10 plus years, our families were also against it. They were worried about us breaking up and ruining the relationship between both families. Our siblings were a bit awkward too. They felt like they became the third and fourth wheel. We did our best to not act couply around them, and continued to hang out the four of us, so they soon realized nothing was gonna change. I would sit down with your parents, and ask them what their reasoning is, and why they are against it. My BF and I at the time, agreed that if we ever broke up, we wouldn't be childish about it, and would let the parents continue to be friends. We are married now good luck. Congrats. I'm hoping that's our family's reasoning for it. Everyone here has me worried about us being related. 
Time to both do some DNA testing just to be sure. It's possible one of you is an affair baby or are somehow otherwise related in a way that will implode the family and uncover long buried secrets. Past that they could be nervous your relationships eventually breaking apart could make things awkward for them later. I'm leaning towards a fair baby though, their reaction is super over the top for anything but that to make sense, that I can see. If you can't afford lab paternity testing, something like Ancestry and 23 and me have a find relatives option. If both of you submit your DNA and hit yes to learning about more family, that it will list you as relatives. I guess so. Really have no clue who the affair partners would be. Sometimes if dating doesn't work out it can make friendships fizzle. They may feel worried. If this relationship ends badly you all can't get together the same as you used to. That's the only other thing I can think of. But we already talked about it. And we are going to do our best not to make things awkward. If it doesn't work out. Feel like that's a better outcome than built up tension thinking about what might have been. As much as you two want to say it won't be awkward when you all break up they know it will be. Which will suck for them. They are considering their feelings over yours. It's frustrating but not wrong of them to do so. Opus. Everybody is saying affair. But my first thought was that their parents were partner swapping for a portion of the decades long friendship. Perhaps the true parentage of each other's children are somewhat unknown. Beyond that they are just on one and need to chill. Honestly worst case scenario for me. That would be too weird. I agree with others. DNA test now. Otherwise this could be your future. HTTPS slash slash www.reddit.com slash r slash best off reddit or up that slash comments slash r 2 jqd slash oop underscore learns underscore he underscore and underscore his underscore wife underscore share underscore or underscore father underscore and slash. It's probably because you're 18, and there's very little chance this relationship is going to go the distance and all of the adults in the room are looking ahead to the day where you and her break up and make things awkward for everyone. It's the same principle as not dating within your friend group or people you work with, because if and when it goes sideways, and there's only a small chance that it won't, it's going to ruin a pre-existing balance for more than just you and her. They are afraid things go weird if you break up or get upset at each other. I know everyone is saying you could be related, but honestly I think the odds of that are slim. If a family member thought you were having sex with a blood relation, I would hope someone would tell you, rather than let you continue on without giving you a valid reason. If it was some clandestine affair, I would imagine not everyone would know about it so there would be other confused family members wondering why people were against it. The relation theory doesn't add up to me. That's definitely giving us some hope. I feel like they would've told us. But it also makes me worried about the swinger theory if they are embarrassed to share that. The adults in your life are being realistic about your relationship. It's very likely not going to last forever. Teenagers who get together rarely stay together. They are assuming you guys will break up and it will cause drama between your families. Yeah I can see why they feel that way, but we don't have crazy expectations for our relationship. We've liked each other for a long time, so it was only natural that we got together. We never meant to cause any drama. Do it anyways. It's not their say or choice. They sound controlling and it's weird. I think that's incredibly sweet. I'm sure you two have a solid relationship slash friendship and that's rare. Don't get robbed of that. Hopefully everything calms down. We do have a great relationship which is why this sucks. And we are doing it regardless of what they say. All the parents swing together and you all could actually be siblings. Is it weird that I would rather there have been an affair than this scenario? I don't think you're basically family. I think you're actually family. I think there is a sold chance that you guys share a parent, maybe two, and whether it was a surrogate situation, or swinging, or someone being a sperm donor, or an adoption, where they split up twins, I think you probably took your sister to the prom. It's the language that catches my attention. Not allowed is so much stronger than we don't like it. They have to be family of some kind. Take a DNA test dude only reason I could think of if they were so against it. 
as a mother of two kids around your age, I can guess it is, because your families are so close, have a great friendship, enjoy outings and trips together, and they are probably afraid, since you're so young, that it won't work out, and will then put a strain on the friendships. If you have a falling out, and break up, and it does not end amicably then it's the families, that go through the breakup too. Your parents will take your side, her parents will take her side these are the things I would be thinking about as your parents. I would call them out, and ask point blank, if that is what they are worried about. Put them at ease and let them know, if you end up breaking up you will agree to be friends, and keep it amicable. You're both adults, so they can't make you two stop dating. Unless they have a valid reason, they don't get to tell you who you can, and can't date. You two should definitely do a DNA test, as soon as possible. Oh, I see this was basically everyone's first thought. You're related. Also too young to understand the potential consequences if you break up. I'd be mad if my kid dated my beat friend's kid and made things AWK between us. If you're not related, maybe they are worried. If you break up, it'll make dynamics really awkward for both families. That's my thought. It could end ugly.